Hey guys, uh, I know usually I'm on the radio, but I had to take to this format and use my state-of-the-art webcam because I realized this may be the only way to get through to you. When I say you, I mean Ron Paul supporters. You, you crazy, nutty Ron Paul supporters. You're all cult members. You're a Paul bots. <laughs> That's what we call you. I heard Rush Limbaugh say it once. You're like robots, but you're Ron Paul and uh, robot. Uh, and, and I know you're always on the internet, so I figured this might be a good way to get through to you. Do you understand what you, what you will do to America? Do you understand that we will all be dead if Ron Paul is elected? He is dangerous. You know how I know he's dangerous? Because I do something that you don't do. Okay? It's called Watch Fox News. Uh, I watch six to eight hours a day of Fox News and the other cable news networks. You probably don't watch any cable news, yet you think you can know what's going on in the world. I, t I talked to a Ron Paul supporter the other day, or Paul Bot. Uh, I talked to him the other day, and he was going on and on and on about, about the gold standard and the principles of subsidiarity or something and, and sound economic policy. And I stopped him and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know what you're saying right now. But, first of all, on what Fox News show did you hear any of that? And he said, he looked me right in the eye, and he said, I don't watch Fox News. And I said, communist? I mean, get out of America. <laughs> we watch Fox News here. Uh, so how in the world do you think you can know what's going on in the world when you're not hearing it from some guy on, uh, on one of the cable news networks? If I turn my TV on right now... Attack any Republican... They're attacking the governor, they're attacking Fox me. Fox News I'm is sure on right now. The, the senator Newt Gingrich. See, there's a solid candidate. Newt Gingrich. Uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, these are the guys that the cable news networks support. They're the guys that the cable news networks talk about. If all the cable news networks, I'm talking about CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, if they all agree that Ron Paul is dangerous, which they do, then that means he's dangerous. Look, uh, just to explain what I'm talking about, I uh, sometimes when I watch cable news, they'll bring guys on like Frank Luntz. He's so great. I mean, he's he's just he has his focus groups, and they bring they they bring real Americans into these focus groups, and they ask them questions like, uh, "How much do you love Mitt Romney on a scale of one to ten? And uh, between Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich, who's the bestest? And it's just it's a lot of fun. So he, he'll bring guys like uh, they'll bring guys like. Uh, Frank Luntz on, and he'll have a chart. And any time that information is on a chart, it means that it's true. Okay, that's just a scientific fact. Einstein said that, I think. So I have my own chart that I made, and um, here it is, just to explain to you why Ron Paul's foreign policy is dangerous. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you see the solid line in my chart, science, a science chart, the solid line represents war. The dotted line represents likelihood of us all dying. As you can clearly see, as the war line goes up, the likelihood of us all dying goes down. What else do you need? The more war we wage, the less of a chance there is that we'll be engaged in war. No, no, it's, um, Sean Hannity can say it better, but, uh, no, it's, it's, we, okay, war creates peace. Anyway, we, we, we have to occupy and invade countries all the time. I mean, we, we have to. If we didn't have to, then why would our government be doing it? If, if it wasn't necessary, if it wasn't the right thing to do, then why would our government be doing it? Think about it. Ron Paul is nuts. He's crazy, okay? Um, here's a quote from Ron Paul that he probably said at a debate or something recently. I don't know. Every time Ron Paul talks in the debate, I mute it, okay? Um, but, uh, no, I never mute Fox News. I'm just kidding. But, but really, I don't like it when he talks. Uh, good thing they don't give him a chance to very often. But here's a quote from Ron Paul. All right? Um, this is what he had to say. Of all the enemies to public liberty, war is perhaps the most to be dreaded because it comprises and develops the germ of every other. No nation can... Oh, wait a minute. That's his, um... James, this isn't Ron Paul, this is James Madison. No nation can preserve its freedom in the midst of continual warfare. That's some guy named James Madison. Obviously, uh, 
some kind of Paul bot, you know, some kind of, uh, some kind of cult member, this guy. No nation can preserve its freedom in the midst of continual warfare. How about no nation can be free unless it's always waging war? This guy's an idiot. Uh, then some other guy, this guy's, I think, a Ron Paul, he's, uh, works on Ron Paul's campaign. His name is, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Um, he's trying to agree with Ron Paul's position on free trade along with, uh, you know, peaceful relations with other countries. And this is what he says. He says, Peace, commerce, and friendship with all nations, entangling alliances with none. That's what he's talking about. This guy's a James Madison, Thomas Jefferson. Okay, then there's some guy named George Washington who says that, uh, obviously a Ron Paul supporter, Ron Paul cult member also, all these people are dangerous because they all agree with him. He says, the great rule of conduct for us in regard to foreign nations is in extending our commercial alliances to have as little political connections as possible. Okay, well, except for with Israel, obviously, right? Just These guys are idiots, okay? You know who else wouldn't agree with these guys? The Founding Fathers. Listen, there's one other thing about Ron Paul. Um, he actually says that we shouldn't invade Iran to stop them from obtaining nuclear weapons. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, we have to invade Iran to stop them from, from obtaining nuclear weapons, and then invade every other country on the planet to stop them as well. You know why? Because if we don't, uh, Iran will first obtain the nuclear capabilities, and then develop the nuclear weapons, and then they're going to use the nuclear weapons. We know all of this. This is a fact. We know it. I, Bill O'Reilly said it a ton of times, okay? And any nation that would use a nuclear weapon on another country and kill thousands of innocent people, any nation that would do that doesn't deserve to exist. Period. And then and then and then any nation that would do it twice, I mean, doesn't doesn't even deserve to doesn't doesn't deserve anything. They should be invaded and occupied. Period. Well, I mean, except for Except for us, but, yeah, I mean, it's, we're the only nation that's ever actually used a nuclear weapon, but, but we knew, we know when to use it. See, we, we, anyway, so I hope that this pretty much clears everything up. Um, Ron Paul is insane, and uh, the best thing that we can do is vote for Mitt Romney or Newt Gingrich. Because they are the establishment candidates, and the establishment has, it's the establishment, it's been established for like 150 years. That's a long time. And they're the ones that have been in charge this entire time. They're the ones that have been in charge, and they're the ones who have gotten us to where we are now. And obviously, if we want to get out of the situation we're in now, we need to keep doing the things we've been doing all along. If we want someone to solve the problems that we're currently faced with, we need to get someone who we need to we need to rely on the establishment that has caused the problems. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Right? It's the establishment that caused the problems is the establishment that will that will fix it. And, and we, we so we, that's what we have to do. We have to keep stay the course. Okay? Keep doing exactly the same thing that that we've been doing all along. Um, so I hope this clears it up anyway. And uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, 2012.